at a revenue level, we, are, uh, did, we have delivered 8% uh, year-on-year growth, uh, uh, top line. Uh, but this number I would like to highlight uh, is affected by the new accounting standards. Uh, we have applied the, the IFRS 15, and because of that, uh, it has uh, significantly reduced uh, the number, uh, the top line revenue growth. Uh, had we been operating like we have always uh, in the past, uh, it, that number would have been 17%. Uh, the operation that is affected the most by these uh, new standards is our operation in the UK, where the bulk of the revenue has moved from a uh, principal to an agent. Uh, because of that, we're recognizing the revenue over time. So, so that is really the, the impact there. So we are proud of, of that number. Uh, we're even more proud of, of the EBITDA growth of 19%. Uh, year on year in an environment like we have here in our country. Uh, normalized, uh, again here we have another set of standards that we have implemented this current financial year, IFRS 15, uh, 16, uh, that has had an impact on, uh, on the EBITDA and, and uh, that, that's, where, that's why you will see the 19 and the 9 percent. At the headline earnings per share, we're showing 4% normalized, the number is 10%. Uh, net debt, uh, this is a number that uh, we, we continue to, to monitor within Altron. It's a number that we'd like to make sure that you continue to be driving down. Uh, but I will go back to the time when we announced our uh, full year results uh, about six months ago. Uh, we were sitting with a net debt uh, to EBITDA ratio of about 0.7%. Uh, at the time, we, we indicated to you that that was a little bit on the low side. Uh, the number that we're kind of like uh, targeting as, as a company is the one, the EBITDA, uh, the net debt to EBITDA ratio of one. And right now, we're sitting at about 1.1 there. Uh, return on capital employed of 17%, and we are once again happy to be announcing an interim dividend.